All right, so today we have another unique under the radar fragrance house that I haven't really heard or seen too much about. And it's the House of Zhivago. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing 24K for men. So stay tuned, cue that intro. going on my beautiful fragrance family i hope each and every one of you are doing freaking fantastic today and welcome back to my two cents my name is brian and this is the channel all about helping boost your confidence through the art of fragrance and helping you become a lasting scent memory huh i feel like i'm forgetting something hmm oh i know i haven't taken my liquid iv yet What's liquid IV, you ask? I'm gonna tell you what, man. It is the best hydration I've ever experienced. Besides actually going and getting an IV. It's non-GMO, it's gluten-free, it's vegan-friendly, and it is packed with so many electrolytes. You can drink water all stinking day, but it doesn't mean you're getting the electrolytes and the vitamins that you actually need, especially when you're sweating out all the water that you're intaking. You need something more. All their flavors taste fantastic. Ever since I started implementing Liquid IV and their sleep multiplier into my daily routine, life changer. I have partnered up with the good folks over at Liquid IV. What they have given me is a 25% off discount code. Leave it at the bottom of the screen and there will also be a link down in my description. If you're into health and wellness and you want to stay hydrated this summer, skip the drip and go with Liquid IV. All right, that's it. I'm not talking your ear off anymore. So let's go ahead and get into today's whiffs and sniffs. Before Zhivago reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review one of their fragrances. Let's do a quick box presentation and then we'll get into the whiffing and sniffing. All right, here's the box. You have their logo in front. You got two horses and two J's that are kissing. And that is a symbol of giving and receiving love, passion, and devotion. Here's the back for you, bottom for you. Who cares about the box? Now let's go ahead and go over the bottle. Hopefully it's not too bright. I'm sorry guys, I can't get the lighting right. This bottle is just super shiny. So you have this gold plastic that wraps around this glass bottle. There's also, I don't know if you can see, there's gold flakes swirling around inside 24 karat gold flakes. The cap is quite cheap. It's just plastic and it's very light. So, ugh. but who cares about the bottle? Let's talk about the juice. I'm gonna spray a little bit here for reference and let's get into the whiffing and sniffing. So the interesting thing about Zhivago 24K, it's an eau de toilette, but it plays more like an eau de parfum or even a parfum. Right off the bat, it does kind of remind me of fragrances that aren't created anymore. I can't remember if it's Calvin Klein Euphoria or if it's Eternity that this kind of reminds me of. It's not, you know, a clone or anything like that, but the opening, you get this really nice, fresh, laundered smell. Now, the note breakdown is simplistic. You got cardamom, you got vetiver, you got coriander, sandalwood, and that's about it. Which I can kind of see because this is a very well put together fragrance with very minimalistic notes and ingredients. You're starting off with some cardamom. It's nice and sweet. I believe there to also be some sort of floral in here, possibly some lavender, just kind of laying underneath everything, giving it a little bit of a floral touch, giving it that laundered kind of smell. Shortly into it, you start getting those spices. You get that coriander, and that starts getting heavier and heavier. You also get that cardamom giving it a nice sweetness and also adding to the spicy qualities. And the cardamom in this is quite beautiful. Vetiver is kind of creamy. It's kind of got that woody characteristic to it as well. I also get some musks, but also I get some like cinnamon, a touch of nutmeg, maybe a touch of black pepper in there as well. It's very aromatic and spicy. And then further into the heart, it becomes a little bit more creamy but you still have all those spices. Sandalwood comes in probably about 30 to 45 minutes into it. It really starts showing face, but I also get like an underlying cedar, but that could also be coming from the vetiver. There is also an ambery sweetness to this, and it's a beautiful ambery quality. The sweetness is the perfect amount. This is a very masculine fragrance. This kind of takes me back to how fragrances were built back in the early 90s and late 80s, but with way less ingredients, let's be, let's be honest there. Very simplistic, but again, very masculine. This is a very 
sexy type of fragrance. You get that nice, freshly laundered scent, but with beautiful spices and really nice woods complementing all the rest of the ingredients in it. Now, I don't think the note breakdown is exactly correct. I think there's more going on in this. Like I said, I believe there is some floral qualities and I believe it's going to be lavender because I just get touches of it, little wafts of it. But I absolutely do adore this fragrance. I think this is a fragrance that should be on people's shelves. And I'm really glad that Zhivago reached out to me and asked me to get my nose on this because it's really good. If they hadn't, I probably never would have. Now let's talk about performance, projection. This is a really, really good performing fragrance. And I'm not just saying that because they sent it to me for review. No, I'm saying that because for an eau de toilette, holy smokes, Batman. That's all I gotta say. I There are certain eau de toilettes that you get and they're like, ugh, gone within, you know, four hours. This one I get eight to nine hours of longevity really good projection within the first two to three hours this is a beautifully put together fragrance especially if you like older style fragrances now even though i keep saying that it's you know reminds me of older style fragrances it's not dated not whatsoever this would be a great signature scent. You could wear it to the office. You could wear it on a date. You could wear it suited up. It's very versatile in that aspect. It's fresh and spicy, aromatic, and woody. It's inoffensive. It's a soft projection. And when I say soft, I don't mean that you can't smell it. What I'm saying is, is that just the scent itself is just very inviting. It's very soft. It's very inoffensive. It's mass appealing. And it's just easy to wear. So I'm not a huge fan of the bottle. And I remember seeing um, uh, Ross's first impression of this. And I saw the bottle and I just kind of started laughing. But now I'm holding it and it's it's a good bottle. I like the glass. The plastic parts I wish were more like enamel. I do like the, you know, the gold flakes inside. Now when you do spray it, you get a little bit of a shimmer. So just so you know that, at least it's 24 karat gold. Anybody asks. Hey man, why are you so glittery? Why you look like that guy from uh, Twilight? Oh, it's because I'm rocking. Zhivago, 24K. And let's talk about pricing. Pricing is $150 for 100 ml. Honestly, I think that's a really good price. It's pretty much designer prices if you take away the eau de toilette in it. Because again, it does not play like an eau de toilette. It's a very well put together fragrance. It's balanced. It's polished. It's not harsh or brash in any way. It smells downright fantastic. If you're looking at getting attention, this definitely, I believe, will help you get some attention. Not going to guarantee that, but I will say this is a very confident fragrance. This smells of a man who is successful, who has got his life together and doesn't have to think about what fragrance he's wearing because whatever he sprays on, he's confident enough to wear it. So if you like woody, spicy fragrances, if you are looking for a new kind of signature scent, maybe a date night fragrance or a fragrance that's just hyper versatile, I highly suggest checking out Zhivago 24K for men. Let me know down in the comments if you have tried anything from Zhivago. I know Zhivago has a 24K for, for women, a poor femme. Um, I'm actually kind of curious to see what that smells like. Let me know, have you guys tried anything from Zhivago? What are your thoughts? I'm always curious to know what your two cents are, but that is it for me today, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and if you enjoyed today's content, then do me a favor. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and always remember, you're stinking beautiful, and until next time, happy scent trails.